I'm doing a little update on my aquariums real quick. They clean their tank, the top tanks, the top three. I was gonna do a video, but I'll just do a video of how I clean them. Uh, when I do the bottom two, I got I got a light fixture on the top. My stomach's killing me, and my allergies have kicked in. But we got a light fi fixture up top that lights up all the tanks all the way to the bottom. So you can really see the colors now. Look how beautiful he is. That's the red dragon male. This is the black dragon male. They love attention. They're getting, they've gotten used to me now. They, they, the colors are just really shining. And then this is my... Uh, Giant male up here with a bubble nest. Poor guy, I think he was, I think someone uh, was breeding him because he made a nest and he's guarding it like there's babies in there, eggs, I mean, but there's nothing. Poor guy. And then down here, I'm going to completely clean this tank out redo it and then uh, she's still here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something uh, because because he's got his bubble nest is so big I'm actually going to there's a divider here, so the males can't see each other. I'm actually gonna switch. I'm gonna have this male, this black dragon, come down to here, and her go up there, and uh, see if I can't spawn these two. She's a black dragon as well. I can't wanna see if I can spawn her with the dark guy up top in that two and a half gallon and all I gotta do is net her out when they're done. So it's gonna be something cool. I also gotta clean the bottom tanks as well. Remember how tiny she was when I first did my videos? Now she's growing. She's starting to get bigger too. She's still a little baby though. She doesn't even have an egg sac yet. This female here is super tiny, still, as well. She needs to grow a little bit. She's the green dragon. Red dragon female is full grown, and she's just ready to just spawn whenever I'm ready to do the red dragons. Right now I'm just waiting on my worm culture to uh, grow enough to where I can actually breed fish, breed the fish. And I know people are wondering, what happened to the giant, amazing, gold-colored male that was in this tank that was going to breed with that female? Well, things have changed, so... Uh, because... So... I ordered him because he's a giant. He's not a giant. He's half a giant. Uh, he has half... He's half giant and then half normal. So... He's a normal sized beta. He's a giant beta, but he's half giant. He's not a full giant. So because he's half a giant, I'm gonna breed her him with the other dragon female. And then their babies will be half giants. But, for those of you wondering where the male is, he's in this 20 gallon long tank where he has plenty of room. I saw this little nick in his fin, so I was like, hmm, I want to breed him, but I don't want to breed him. I want him to be fully healthy and his fins to heal completely. 
So he's been in here for a couple of days now, and he loves this new tank. He's taking it over. So he'll be he'll grow to be his full size in this 20 yon long. But he likes it. Yeah, he wants he wanted to spawn, but when I put him in here, it's an upgrade from where he was at, so that helped ease the process. So he's a he's a real giant, so I have to go and find a giant female to breed with him to keep the giant genes going. And it's really tough trying to find a giant female that has copper or mustard gas colors like him. Because I want to keep that, uh, those giant traits. Because he's a full... I expected him to be the size of that darker male. He's twice the size of him. So... Obviously I want to keep betas that are going to get this big around. The only way to do that is by finding a female that is also a giant. And it worked out good too because, uh, what's it called? It, take, it takes time to find a female that's a giant with his color scheme. It gives him plenty of time for his fins to heal. It gives him my worm culture time to grow. Slowly, but it's a growing. Yeah, he likes it in here. There's a little bit of a glare, but you can still see him real good. There. He's not camera shy at all. He's a beautiful fish. You see that light blue color he's got too. Gorgeous. I yeah, just want to do a little bit of an update on what's going on with my tanks. The plant aquarium is obviously <laughs> doing great. You see the plants just getting uh, rooted down there and new growth is coming from the bottom and growing up to the top. Which is awesome. I want this thing thick so I can f put multiple fry in here and the fry won't be, uh, what's it called, stressed out. They can have plenty of places to hide. So it's going to be cool. Looking forward to it. The fry won't go in here until they're probably about close to a month old. They'll be big enough. I wanted to end the video showing off this big guy though. He is just curious looking around everywhere. Even in two days, there's a lot that he hasn't looked at yet, so he's, he's doing good though. And he will be bred, just not yet. That's it.